ready uh, for a sitting today, then they will come in. Of course, uh, it means that the two sides would have to meet. That's uh, what usually the leadership will do. And uh, as you can see also, uh, ch chants by the NDC, members of parliament and their caucus. It also follows an earlier again, not only chants, but also the singing of the anthem of the MPP by Afenyo Maki and uh, his members as well on the side of his caucus. As of now, I don't know what to call it, whether there's a lacuna or as it is, but uh, succinctly what he has been saying is we echoing the position he's always held that based on how the parliament, the eighth parliament was inaugurated, they are the majority side of the house. Let's take some sight and sound and then we'll come back and continue with this narrative. Sight and sounds in the Chamber of Parliament early on and before all the chants and the march pass and the singing of the NDC anthem, we had Afenyo Makin leading his side, that's the MPP caucus, and again reiterating the position he's held since that ruling by the Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagman, the last week, and insisting that based on how the Eighth Parliament of the Republic of Ghana was inaugurated, the MPP is still the majority side of the House. On the other hand, also, Casey Latoforsen is leading his charge, saying, based on the ruling of the Speaker of Parliament, Albert Bagbin, again the last week in that sitting, they are the majority side of the House. So the two caucuses, uh, one which is the MPP side that has retreated, gone to the offices, and specifically, Afenyo Makin indicating that they are retiring to their offices and as the normal procedure will be for the daily workings of Parliament, when the Speaker is ready, they will come back to the House. Usually as a preface, they would have some discussions as well from both sides of the House by way of the leadership and their quips. And subsequently, when they come, they begin the order of business for the day. Now, it is important for us to emphasize that they are insisting, that's a finger marking, that they respect the rule of law, they respect the rulings of the speaker, but again, are in court challenging same. And by the normal orders of the rule of law and what enjoins not only him, but also his colleagues on the MPP side of the house, they respect the tenets of the constitution. He, will go, he again goes to emphasize that they are for peace. They want to 
ensure that the peace of the country is managed in such a way that that national cohesion is needed for the country in the run-up to the election in these times. On the other hand, we're bringing you live pictures because remaining in the chamber are members of the NDC side of the House and uh, vividly arguing the um, member of parliament in the Zanetto Rawlings as well as uh, former deputy attorney general Dr. Dominic Ayini and also I can see Kluche Avegi etc. But our uh, main man also joining Eric Egbeta on the precinct of parliament is Alfredo Kansi. And Alfredo Kansi, from the chamber, it looks like uh, many insights there. And we're still having our guests right here in the studio. They promised to stay with us for the next one hour before they leave. And then, Alfred, what can you tell us so far? How does it look like? Uh, what's your own analysis of or observations about what has transpired so far, Alfred? Alfred, okay, now we have Betty Moldy Drizzle as well. All right, 